question come in from this young lady asking me about the difference between, you know, what's baggage and what's just maybe a learned lesson or something like that. She's running into guys and she feels like she's scaring them off every time because she remembers what she's going through and she doesn't want to go through it again. So whenever she brings it up, they tell her, oh, you got too much baggage, I'm not fucking with you. Well, let me put it like this. If I gain weight, right, I gain 20 pounds, I could either gain that in muscle or I can gain that in fat. Gaining it in muscle is going to help me, like it makes me stronger, right? I went through shit to get that muscle. See, that's learned lessons. That ain't baggage. Baggage is whenever you just fat. You know what I mean? You got some useless weight you can't use and you can't do nothing with that ain't helping you move faster. You know, it's only making you unhealthy. That's that's just fat, you know what I'm saying? I'd be damned if I go into any kind of profession, any kind of relationship, any kind of agreement where I must lose what I worked so hard to gain and that's actually helping me move forward in a more productive manner. You should treat every guy that tells you that your learned lessons are baggage the exact same way. They basically telling you to undo all the shit that you went through to become the strong person you are today. Now, if you got these learned lessons and you're not trying to apply them or you're not, you know, you don't have actual tangible goals that they can adhere to, like say for instance, if you say, you know what, in the past I've been cheated on. Every guy I've come across, they had some old shysty ass habits. They stayed on their phone and putting their phone face down. You know, they stayed going to a, diff a different room if they had to use their phone. And I don't want to go through that again because every single one of those guys were unfaithful. And now if you just leave it at that, where there's nothing he can do with it, then that's just baggage. But if you say, you know what, based on that, I want to have a relationship where you can leave your phone face up. Neither one of us have any passwords or dig into each other's phone. We have nothing to hide. And if I ask about who you're talking to or whatever, that it's not a problem. I won't bug you about it, but I don't want it to be an issue that I simply wanted to know. See, that's tangible. That's a learned lesson. That's you taking a step forward in something that he actually has something to grasp onto. Okay, how, how do I go about making her comfortable and making sure that you know these insecurities don't last in our relationship? Because you're going to go to in, into any situation with some kind of mistrust, as you should. You know what I mean? It doesn't mean that you're going into a situation jaded. You know what I'm saying? It just means that you they got to earn your trust. That's every dude should have to earn your trust. I talked about that in the previous video. You know, and some people thinking it's, it's an extreme one way or the other. Like, you know, if you don't, if you, if he has to earn your trust, that means you're not giving him a chance, or that means you're going up too guarded. No, it's like when you go to buy a car, you don't just say, "Oh, it looks good, I'm buying." Where do I sign? You go to a, you go to a car lot, and you say, "Okay, I still need to see the Carfax. I still need to take it on a test drive. I still need to take it by a mechanic and have them evaluate it." You know what I'm saying? And on the other hand, you don't go and just kicking every car saying, all oh, you fuck ass cars the same. All y'all ain't shit. None of y'all gonna run. Your engine ain't shit. Your transmission ain't shit. Cause otherwise, why did you even go car shopping in the first place? So you don't want to be jaded. You know what I mean? You don't want to have baggage, but just so you know the difference, the difference is when what you're, the standards that you're holding him to are unrealistic and what you're asking him to do is unproductive whenever it's never a solution to anything, it's just a problem. It's just that I've been through this, I've been through that, and you leave it there. So then this comes with a whole lot of barriers and uh, hoops that he has to jump through, and of course, no man is gonna wanna do that. You know, a lot of guys get into relationships, or not even relationships, they get into dating situations and they want a girl to come as a blank slate so they can play those same games that every other guy's playing like it's too hard for an old dog to come up with new tricks so they just rather you forget every fucking trick no don't be that girl do not be that girl it's easy to say you know what let's just go into everything with everybody trust everybody but you know what we grown if you pass the age of 21 chances are you've been through something you you've had some kind of trial and error when it comes to love and with trial and error going forward in, in a smarter and more wise fashion comes some new rules and some new ways to avoid what you've been through in the past so if ways to protect your heart is scaring a man away then he had no intentions on protecting you in the first place and you don't need them